there you go. So five quick tips to burn out your engineers. Why would you care about this? Well, you want to be seen as a strong tech leader. You want to be the most senior engineer in the room, right? So these are five tips. Pay attention. This will make you very, very senior and a very strong tech leader. First of all, tip number one, it all starts at the hiring process. Give them uh, a big, big job description with as many functions you can cram into one vacancy and make the process as long as possible. Give them free work. Give them coding exercises. Make it as difficult as possible and spread it out across meh, three months. Must be doable, right? Um, and once you have them, um, yeah, you hire the self-starter. Uh, it was in your vacancy, so let them self-start. Tip number two, metrics. Yeah, Dora, yes, all of it. Please, cram it all into one dashboard. Really put the metrics everywhere. Don't tell them why you are measuring things, but just measure everything. And when that performance interview uh, review comes up, you say, why are you not productive? This is not enough lines of code. Come on, explain to me, right? Um, so that's a good practice. And then if it, we talk about the career path, of course, don't tell them anything about it. Keep everybody in the dark. Promote random people that uh, maybe did a good job or didn't. Who cares? You know, whenever you can fire somebody, just do it at random. Why not? And, you know, if you're a real coder, you don't use AI, right? You have to know every bit and byte of every uh, framework or coding language you're using. So, yes, um, please don't do AI. And if you have infrastructure, please use tickets. Use tickets for basically everything in your organization. Want to more resources? Put in a ticket because that is where the innovation happens, right? And when we are complaining that things are not going fast enough, we just go buy the tools, right? So we buy all the tools because shift left is the best thing there is. So give them every interface, every tool you can find until there's only shit left. Good, so this is, uh, this is your, your PO, and that PO, um, yeah, why, why only, you know, focus on the software that you could build with your team and make your team excel? Why not tell them what they actually need to be building and how they solve their problems? Because that's way more efficient, obviously, right? So just tell them what to build, how to build it, build it and if it fails, then it's their fault. If it's successful, you're a great leader, right? Um, don't share any knowledge. If you have found a solution to a very common problem in your organization, don't share that knowledge with, with the rest of your organization. If you have a specific knowledge about uh, a specific language or a solution, just, you know, don't share it. Okay, it's not uh, toxic enough, of course. So, you have a phone, right? And you have all these great apps, all the tools that we used, I discussed before. You can, you know, have the alerts on your phone. So if you're uh, somewhere, you know, grabbing a coffee or in traffic, then why not look at that pull request, right? Why not look at that alert? So take your work with you, yeah, as much as possible. Because that is how you become ultra productive. And of course, our culture really matters to us. And we have a happy culture. So if you have anything to complain, Please don't. We don't like negativity here. So don't, don't, don't go complaining. Okay, to end on a positive, positive note, so what could you do to do it better? Hire and onboard in the right way. Onboarding is super important, and basically it all starts with hiring. Hire for diversity, uh, make the process good, make the onboarding good. Otherwise, people will leave or burn out. Measure what matters. You know, look at the outcomes that you want to have. It really is a difference. Uh, looking at lines of code or looking at the actual outcomes. Does your team perform well? Did they release a good API? That's good. And add value. If you are um, building an application platform for the rest of your organization, make it usable, enable the people. Add the value so that it actually helps your engineers going faster. And team up. And have a learn it all culture. So share knowledge, have these events internally, Learn other people how to actually use a product. If you solve the problem, let, let, let them know. Let them learn them, right? Um, and there's uh, this guide I want to point you to. It's the Platform Engineering Guide uh, on Microsoft Learn. Uh, and it contains a lot of best practices on how you can uh, move from a traditional organization 
to a uh, more um, uh, modern organization, let me put it that way. And it has a lot of our own best practices and our own experiences in there. And I think it's a good read. And uh, with that, I want to thank you. <laughs>